high blood sugar or high cholesterol which one is really bad welcome to another video my name is Jovi Tevpara Samal I'm a certified fitness coach I hope you are doing good so in today's video we are going to discuss about high cholesterol and high blood sugar what is really bad so we have been told that LDL cholesterol is bad and HDL cholesterol is really good. Later studies are showing that there is only one type of LDL cholesterol that is really bad and that is, I hope you watched my previous video. If you don't know what is that one LDL cholesterol which is really bad, make sure you watch that video. But today's video we are going to discuss about high blood sugar. What exactly is high blood sugar? Is high blood sugar is really good or bad? Let's discuss that. So imagine that you are eating food. So when you eat food, that food is converted to sugar and when there is a sugar your pancreas create a hormone called insulin to lower that sugar because as i mentioned in the cholesterol case anything too much is very bad too much of cholesterol too much of that bad and ldl cholesterol is really bad so your body have a mechanism to lower that right so i have explained that in the previous video similar like that when you have too much of sugar in your system your body create insulin and insulin responsibility is to lower that sugar so when there is insulin what exactly that that is doing so insulin will open the cells wall your cell will be open and all the sugar will go inside and when everything is done the cell is closed cell will send a signal back to the pancreas saying that okay you know there is no need to create more insulin because sugar level is settled so this is a normal communication too much sugar is really bad too much of anything is really bad for your health and your body know that very well and that's why your pancreas create this insulin so when there is insulin your cell will open the door and say that okay the door is open so that you know the sugar can go inside the cell so the sugar will go inside the cell that means there is no more excess sugar so the door is closed now the things are sending a signal back to the pancreas saying that okay enough no more insulin is needed because everything is settled now so this is the normal condition but imagine a situation that there is too much of sugar all the time when there is a too much of sugar anything more is really bad too much sugar is bad too much insulin is bad when there is too much of insulin your cell is saying that okay i'm getting too much of sugar you know the door is open that means i'm getting too much of sugar which is really bad so what exactly your cell do in order to protect that cell because insulin and too much of sugar is bad so that you know your cell will say that okay i'm no more going to accept insulin so imagine that i am talking to you and you are listening and i am keep on talking but you want to say something to me that's why i say make a comment if you have something to say to me make a comment but there are some people they just talk they don't allow you to reply or say any response they are just keep on talking and what happened after some time you lose the interest right it's only a one-way communication and when that happened what you will do you will stop listening right your body do the same thing when there is too much of something coming but there is no response back your body your cells will do the same thing your cells will just ignore that insulin upcoming insulin and sugar and this is a condition called the pre-diabetic situation i hope you hear the word pre-diabetic so in order to avoid that pre-diabetic i always recommend people not to eat food all the time because eating too much means too much blood sugar too much blood sugar means too much insulin and if you have all the time that insulin which means that your cell is going to ignore that signals you know there should be normal process should happen all the time in our body but when you are keep on eating food all the time or when you are drinking that sodas this is why i also say that sodas are banned in my diet book if you're following my diet i don't recommend sodas or eating five six meals a day i don't do that i don't recommend that my recommendation is you start with three meals a day and the reason is because you know you have this flow to be happen right because when you are eating food your blood sugar is spiked and this has to go go back to normal stage and if you are just eating all the time the blood sugar is spiked all the time which means you are breaking the system when you are breaking the system that is when all this problem like diabetes pre-diabetics you have to inject that shit you know these all conditions will happen and we don't want that right you don't want that none of my clients want that and that's why i am recommending them to not eat all the time by the way there are certain conditions your body create a lot of sugar and one of the condition is if you are a woman watching this video and if you are pregnant your body know better than me right your body know better than so that sometime it can happen that your body create sugar because you have a baby inside in order to protect the baby and in order to protect you there are certain situations your body create more insulin 
So if you are a pregnant woman and your result is showing that you have too much of insulin, don't get panic because I said this to you, right? You are a pregnant, your body is going through different situation now. Check with your doctor, ask doctor if there is something I should be afraid. If the doctor is saying that you don't need to afraid anything, so don't worry. So general condition is anything too much is really bad. Too much of cholesterol is bad. Too much of sugar is bad. If too much of something is happening in your body, then there is an underlying reasons. And you need to find out what exactly is that reasons. Most of the time, it can be because of the diet. So if you are eating all the time, this is one scenario, one case that you can feel too much of sugar in your system. If you are also eating too much of carbohydrate, that can create a lot of sugar, a lot of insulin, and you will see in your result that you have excess sugar. So there are certain reasons why your body is producing too much of sugar. And if your report is showing you that you have too much of sugar, try to find out what exactly is happening. What is happening? Why is why your body is creating too much of sugar? So you don't want too much sugar. You don't want too much cholesterol. That's my takeaway. So I hope you like this video. Make sure you share this video with your friends and family. And uh, let's live a happy and healthy life. And I will see you with another interesting video. Take care.